One of the things that is really difficult, I think, in developing godly virtue is having endurance. Endurance uh, in the Greek is a word that's related to patience, and endurance is having patience through hard times. And uh, having patience when, when things aren't right, I find to be a real struggle. You know, whether it's uh, being patient uh, in the line at the grocery store, or it's being patient while I'm walking my dog, waiting for him to use the restroom, or it's being patient for my circumstances in life to change. And I think right now when we're all enduring through circumstances that we would like to change, uh, it's a great opportunity for us to develop and exercise patience. I want to read a passage here from Colossians. Paul writes to the Colossian believers here in chapter 1. He says, Because of this, from the day we heard about you, we have not stopped praying for you and asking for you to be filled with the knowledge of His will, along with all spiritual wisdom and understanding, so that you walk in a manner worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing to Him, bearing fruit in every good work and growing in the knowledge of God, being empowered with all power by means of his glorious might, so that you will have all endurance and patience, giving thanks with joy to the Father who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of the Holy Ones in the kingdom of light. Paul writes that the Colossian believers are being empowered with all power by means of his God's glorious might, so that, this is the purpose, so that you will have all endurance and patience. See, having patience during uh, circumstances that are unfavorable, which is, you know, building endurance, it's not that we grit our teeth and white knuckle our way through it by the strength of our own will. To be patient uh, during suffering or during adverse circumstances, this is something that we receive from, uh, power for from the Lord. The Lord enables us to endure through hard times. So whether we're looking at a national crisis as we are right now, or if there's something going on in your personal life, look to the Lord to be empowered by His power to be able to have all endurance and patience. And I think the psalmist recognized this, and it's a theme that he wrote about a lot. I want to go to Psalm 27. Now, when you look to God to be empowered, it also matters that you're looking to trust in Him that God is acting in your circumstances. And what that requires, though, is for us to be patient with God as well. See, in uh, Psalm 27, it says, Surely I still believe I will see the goodness of Yahweh in the land of the living. Wait for Yahweh. Be strong and let your heart take courage. Yes, wait for Yahweh. See, waiting for the Lord to act takes patience. And when we want circumstances to be different and we're asking God to change our circumstances, we have to wait for God. We have to be patient knowing that God will act according to his will and according to his faithfulness. And so that's why the psalmist also writes uh, later in Psalm 62. He writes these words, With God is my deliverance and my honor, the rock of my strength, my refuge is in God. Trust in Him at all times, O people. Pour out your heart before Him. God is a refuge for us. Selah. So while we're being patient and waiting for God to act in our, in our lives and in our circumstances, that doesn't mean it's a, it's a passive sort of just sit around uh, being like, I wonder when things will be different. But it's for us to look to God, to trust in Him, and it says, pour out our heart before Him. Let us cry out to God and tell God that, God, we're looking for you. We're waiting for you to act. And we will be patient to see your will come to pass. So I just want to encourage you guys to work on being patient as one of the ways that God can build character within us to endure through hard times. God bless.